So when was the last time you and your loved ones just had a chance to kick back, chill, do nothing, sit down, talk, and reconnect? How about when was the last time you sat on the leather jackknife sofa that had one of these? Yep. This is the all new East to West Alta 2100 MBH. I'm Chris Young for Gander RV and Outdoors. As soon as I walked into this unit, I said, yo, I'm a fan of this one. I like it. Never been a big fan of the Murphy bed up front though, but having the leather sofa here, which is also a jackknife, that has the extensions right there. That's unique, comfortable, and fun. Got the Murphy bed here, solid wood. You just undo the latch, you know, fold the bed out. That comes down and you have ward storage on both sides. Plus when the bed is down, you have a extremely long nightstand that even has a little cubby space on both sides. Bob, see if you can get in there. So look at that, got a little cubby space. Plus one of the things you're gonna notice about the Altus with the upgraded residential features, dual USB ports pretty much all the way around this unit. And when you wanna get the entertainment going, you got your Furion AM FM dual zone with Bluetooth and HDMI right there, plus a sound bar built in. Now these are dual zones, so you can have the speakers going inside and out. I got shaker style cabinets right here with the brush nickel fixtures on the off camp side kitchen, plenty of storage space. Now this is a bunk unit. So if you're a small family and you want to get out and you want to do some adventuring, this is going to be a good model for you, especially if you don't need a whole lot of space because you know when you're out, you're going to be out and doing a lot of fun things. But if you want a big, ginormous, undermounted farmhouse style stainless steel sink with the suspension sprayer handle, we got you covered. You got the uh, cover that also doubles as a cutting board, seamless countertops right here, leading all the way to a flush mounted three burner stove with the grill style grates. Big fan of these because it makes the pot and pans easy to move around. The only thing is you just got to watch out for that little lip right there because sometimes your pans can kind of get stuck and bump up in there. Got my glass cover, flush mounted microwave, 10 square foot fridge right here. Yes, 10 square feet of fridge freezer combo right there. Now you talk about having the room and the space for the drinks, the meals, you take it doing a hunting trip or fishing trip. If you want to put the storage in there, bam. 48 inch dinette with storage underneath. Check this out. All the drawers, even the ones that we have in the kitchen, solid wood construction, full extension on the ball bearing drives. Just take a look at my pot storage that I have right here. Got storage underneath the sink and not to be outdone. Look at the size of those drawers. That's good space. And I got myself a pretty little LED light underneath to give me some extra security at night. Doubles as a great night light, especially when you're walking through. But good spot to reconnect, have the meals, play the cards, the board games. Plus, I got a giant window right here on the campsite with the wood balance that would do well at letting in the fresh air and the light. Plus, if the kids were out there playing, I could easily see them. This reduces down into a bed. Could probably sleep two people, one for sure. And right here on these beautiful herringbone slip resistant residential style floorings, you're going to notice the vents are in the cabinetry. That's so that you do not have those soft spots inside the floor. This is a solid unit. Great insulation as well. 15,000 BTU air conditioner, 35,000 BTU furnace and good storage for a small unit. This is the 2100 MBH by East to West Alta. Large rear corner bath. I mean, just look at the walking space that I have here. Plastic bowl with the foot flush, single mounted sink with the brush nickel fixtures. Got myself a corner medicine cabinet with the raised lips. That really comes in handy when you're in transit to make sure the stuff in there doesn't fall out when you come to open it up. Large window, power ports, residential style and size shower with the single surround corner notches to store my stuff brush nickel fixtures all the way around and take a look at the inlay go ahead and kill the lights bob can't even tell we cut the lights off because this skylight not only gives you so much more headroom you get beautiful ambient light coming in you already have 81 inch high ceilings inside these units and uh, i mean you don't really really even need the additional headroom but it is nice to have 
Come over to the entertainment side. I got a TV mounted here on a swivel. So if I wanted to watch it while I was in the bunks, I could, or if I want to watch it here, we absolutely could. More storage underneath, because east to west is not to be outdone here. Let me move the ladder so you can see. Full extension, solid construction. I even like the applique that they put in the bottom there. And if you do have the furry friends, how about a little doggy door that has food bowls and a water bowl there for you? I got more storage underneath my bunks. So if I had rifles, cases, or fishing rods, or even just my bags for when I'm traveling, that's gonna be a good spot to put them there. And a ladder latches in right there. So if somebody wanted to climb up and get into the bunks, they absolutely could. You got those teddy bear style mattresses with the furry cover, comfortable, large, can hold 300 pounds. So it might be a little bit of a tight squeeze, but you could easily get two adults on each bunk. Plus we got dual USB chargers up top and down beneath. I mean, if I wanted storage, how about I just lift up the bunk and just slide everything there? Let's say it's a hunting trip and this is my hunting cabin. Yeah, just do that right there. Boom, put all my cases right there. And the best thing, this unit doesn't have a slide. All this space, all this luxury, and I do not have a slide in this unit. I don't see anything wrong with this one at all. Love the seamless countertops, love the color, light, airy. Got a strong furnace, strong air conditioner, and plenty of space for that family that wants to get out and about and do some traveling. But we've seen the inside of this 2100 MBH from east to west, the Alta. What do you say we go take a gander, RV and outdoors, at the outside? Okay, so here we are on the outside of the all new east to west Alta 2100 MBH. Gonna start right up front with one of the things, I don't care what travel trailer you get, try to get one that has the power tongue jack. That helps so much when setting up, hooking up, and setting up. Got twin 20 pound LP tanks, automotive deposition coating on the frame under on, on this beautiful unit. Got a diamond plated rock guard leading right into the fiberglass end cap. And that is a seamless super flex roof going all the way over. But just take a look from the running lights to the graphics, to the molding, looks good on the road, looks good when you set up. Side opening anti-slam doors with magnetic latches. Look at the finished pass-through storage that we have here. Have our own light, a power port there. Great spot for the beach towels, the beach chairs, the hunting gear, the fishing gear. And with this being anti-slam, nice touch. Take a look underneath. That is a sealed, heated, enclosed underbelly. Large 19-foot awning with the LED light strip. Sealed safety glass that's tinted all the way around this unit as well. Moride, solid three steps going into the main entry with the extra large grab handle that doubles as a door guard. And if you take a look right here on the side, you're gonna see extended climate guard with Asdell on board. The insulation that's on this unit is gonna make sure, especially with that Asdell, cause that's a fiberglass laminate that goes in between the walls that really helps with the insulation. You want the temperature where you want it, it's gonna stay where you want it on the inside. Got external cable and satellite plugs right here. So if you wanna set up the TV while you're doing some entertaining, you absolutely could. Got the dual zone speakers there, large bay window here. Dexter Easy Lube axles. This is a double axle travel trailer. Got the 15 inch aluminum wheels with the nitro filled tires. That's, you know what? I never really understood about the nitro filled tires until I got a vehicle that had them in it. it makes a world of difference. External kitchen also makes a world of difference because if you're hunting, fishing, doing whatever, you want to come out, set up, and do that cooking out here. Just take a look at the beautiful Capitol Grill with that radiant style cover. Big fan of that. Look at the space that we have. You do a good catch. Come out and clean that fish in here so you don't have to do it on the inside. I mean, I got the space, my prep space right here. I could do my slicing, my dicing, pull this out, do my cooking, keep everything else stored right here in the small mini fridge. And once again, magnetic anti-slam to get that going. Got my spray port right here. And underneath, just in case that grill wasn't enough, how about an LP Quick Connect so you could put in another grill? Yep, I like to do about 10 burgers when I'm outside grilling, Chris. What about you? Yeah, me too, man. I understand all the way. Four by four sewer hose storage there, spare tire mounted on the back. 
We have the arch ceilings up top too. And if you notice with those 81 inch high ceilings on the inside, having that is gonna make sure that the elements, the rain, the snow doesn't get on the roof and doesn't pull there. It's gonna go off. And those three inch nozzles are gonna make sure it doesn't fall on you or your friends. Backup camera prep. Got my 30 amp plug right here. My low point drain or freshwater drain, if that's what you wanna call it, right there underneath. Got the solid mounted ladder with the handles going over the top to ensure that safety and security. Another great feature of this unit. How about power leveling jacks, both for the front and the rear? Got my main dumps right here. Wastewater tank, sewer outlet connection, black tank flush right here. That's also a great feature to have on any travel trailer. Just having that makes life so much easier. Come around to the front. I got my freshwater connection here. But one of the things that I like about what East to West did is they put this command station inside the storage. I got my little port right here so I could run my cables and have that security. If I needed the external shower, I got my connection there, run my city water connection, my battery disconnect, my cable, my satellite, even have a power plug right there. And having that inside the storage just gives you a nice additional layer of security. Plus anti-slam door, power, uh, city fresh water connection like I mentioned before. Front power leveling jacks and your fresh water drain right underneath, right there with the two little nozzles. If you do have solar panels, get your 10 amp quick connect right here. But the most important part of any travel trailer is gonna be the info panel. This is where you go to see how much does this vehicle weigh. For example, this one gross vehicle weight, 7,700 pounds. That's where you ask your specialist, again, or RV and outdoors, what does that mean? Here's what my truck can tow. Is this vehicle right for me? But if you're a family that needs some bunks, you need something semi-lightweight, I'll just call it lightweight. You need something lightweight with style amenities and you don't wanna break the bank, you need to check out the East to West Alta 2100 MBH. I don't see anything bad about this camper at all, but maybe you did. So leave me some comments down below and let me know what did you think? What did you like? What did you not like about it? Because I love hearing from you and chatting with you. And please click like, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that when we do have new videos come out, you're the first one to see them. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm Chris Young for Gander RV and Outdoors. Look forward to seeing you again very soon. And as always, come check out a camper because they are fun.